Well, look at that. Good morning, everybody. And a good sunny morning to you all. Wow, we haven't seen the sunshine for hardly at all. Uh, fuel in a little 2.8 kVA generator to uh, top the batteries up. We didn't get them full, we only top them up to around about 95% um, when we need to run the generator. Um, anything over that and it's just a waste of fuel because it takes bugger all amps after that. But I tell you, it's been a wet one. It's been a wet one. Um, one of the wettest uh, months on record last month. But all through all that, of course, we still... ...62, and it's just an awesome off-grid hot water system, these heat pump hot water systems. They are definitely the way to go. Um, yeah, I mean, some... Uh, last month, I mean, we didn't see any sunshine for bloody weeks, just about. Uh, uh, we do have some storms forecast uh, for this week. So a couple of lightning storms and bits and pieces, so we'll see how it goes. But it has been so wet down south. Um, yeah, it's, it's been awesome. Let's Let's quickly... Quickly have a look at the last month's rain figures. We had a lot of rain last month. A lot of rain. But I got the laptop fixed, up and running, it ended up being a, the RAM was, went bad in it. And um, it wouldn't do anything, well you know, it would turn on and then it would blue screen and you'd try editing a video and uh, it would just lock up and it was a funny one. Um, but they sent it back to the Acer shop. Because we got a two year warranty with that, so they sent it back to the Acer shop and um, they didn't even format it or anything. That's, that's what most bad computer shops do. You go in with a problem, the first thing they do is format your drives when it's not the drives at all. Uh, these people didn't, they just um, put their own test and stuff on and yeah. Hit the road again shortly. I've got a couple little electrical changes I'm going to make in here. I'll do a video on it when I do it on the on the camper trailer. We got some movement across the road at the milk factory. They're burning off a pile of rubbish and they got a grader there leveling it all out. I had a uh, crawling drill rig in there the other day doing um, soil samples. Um, so, you know, because you got to do that before you can build on an industrial block, especially one that's been used for a dairy because there's a lot of carcinogenics in the uh, stuff they use to um, make cheese. The chemicals they add. So yeah, that's uh, going to be interesting to see. Hopefully they'll. Oh, there's another little toy over there to play on as well. Little, little, uh, little, little cat. Little. Yeah. Brilliant. Look at this day, hey? 
the sun coming through that tree there look at it it's absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant <sighs> um, lifting the suspension well we didn't lift it we put an extra spring in and some really really first class shock absorbers on it double acting um, uh, shock absorbers and the dam yeah it's, it's brilliant it didn't make the ride rough at all um, but it made a lot to, of difference um, to the loads I, I put a really good load in it and tested it when we got the trailer on and we we're off-road and we got the trailer at different angles to the car going through washouts that's what we will know uh, because it's the dynamics it's the dynamics of the trailer when it's like that to the car going through washouts and that where you've got weight pushing down more weight than you you know like practically you know an extra ton um, coming onto the tow hitch in bibs and bobs that uh, we were having a hard time with so hopefully that's all sorted now um, yeah brilliant so I'll quickly I'll just turn these lights on for a second honey if that's all right no, wrong one there we go so couple of changes I'm going to be making you're right keep that going doesn't matter if you're making noise um excuse me while I just unwrap this packet with the uh power outlets in the trailer right, come out of the bag here we go now we've got these waterproof things in there and the ones I have in there now are a 2.1 by um, one so you got 2.1 at the top and one at the bottom and these are both 2.1s that just means that I can fast charge just about anything now uh, I'm still waiting on some stuff to get here before I get stuck into that um, and for the CB radio uh, I got one of these antenna mounts and you can see it's got a series of holes there and a pull thing there when you're going through um, can you hold this for a minute love this the camera thanks when you're uh, when you've got when you're going through a lot of close country that's um, you know scraping the roof of the car usually you end up you can end up damaging the aerial so this will let it lay back as far as 90 degrees there we go so you can actually lay your aerial down so you don't damage it it's got a spring and a catch in there it's all marine grade stainless steel and then when you get into the open country again you just stand your aerials back up thanks darling because aerials are pretty expensive and you don't want them to snap off um, I got this one from JDM Auto I can't show you the other side because it's got my name and address on it but yeah all right so there's an update for you so i know i've been away a long time i did put in the um public section of my channel you know that i was away because the uh uh, uh my new computer stopped working so we were really good we got two year warranty on that one so it was no issue to get it fixed it just took time people okay so that's it from me and ziggy says hello um and we'll catch us in the next video uh we are planning to head off you know in a month or so it's a pretty big uh trip so we're gonna 
we spent that time sort of planning everything, so it was awesome in one way that the computer broke down, but bad in another, because it left me with nothing to do. Because, you, you know, I'm retired, and, and I do this for a hobby, same as my solar system. And uh, my off-grid solar system worked like, it, it's going great, you know, I mean, nine litres of fuel is nothing. You know, I mean, uh, just the line charges alone cost more than that a month. Um, if you were grid connect. Uh, because we do run everything off grid. We are probably, properly off grid here, not just a little bit off grid. And we run everything electric. Make it informative, so it's, can, it's a bit of a catch-up, so you know what's going on around here. Um, yeah, we've got the, the uh, tracks inside. Got to wonder, got to figure out where I'm going to mount those, either on the trailer or on the ute, because um, it gets a bit sandy where we're going next, and these things are a godsend in sand. Um, all right, keep safe, everyone. Bye for now.